Hey Tullys, welcome back to my channel and today I will be showing you guys how to make a 3D pillow out of this furry baby and her name was Princess and Princess is no longer here with us so I just wanted to show you guys how to make this and you guys can do faces or anything that you want. Um, the possibilities as always are endless. So here we are with a 13 by 19 piece of sublimation paper that I went ahead and printed our image on and I'm going to be trying to do this two different ways one way with the mirrored image and another way with um a flower like a flower print in the background that one didn't work out but we're just going to go ahead and show you guys anyway so you guys can have ideas so i went ahead and put my butcher paper down and i'm going to sublimate this image for 60 seconds on a 120 no 60 seconds for 400 degrees and now that that is sublimated, you see that the image is now on a piece of fabric. And we're going to do that three times total. And this is me just cutting my fabric the third time while we're waiting on that to sublimate fully. Now, if you guys are familiar with sublimation, you guys want to be mindful of your color profiles and your temperature that you are heating because I'm just still having some trouble with that. I'm still learning in this process. So if you guys have any tips, please leave a comment in the comment section below because I want to show you guys, but you guys can also teach me as well in the process. So here I am just lining this up and I really got this idea from uh, the pillow company. I think it's like the pillow guy. So um, I think him for giving us all of this greatness and i just want to take this moment while you guys are just watching me cut out some fabric to give a shout out to a local business the business today that i want to give a shout out to is the business called so impress owned by a wonderful wonderful black mom and uh i just want you guys to go check her out so impressed if you guys are moms or if you guys are christian and you know guys love merch go ahead and check them out and i hope you guys enjoy her website so here guys i am just going ahead with my sewing machine and i am outlining that outline that we created and i created this with a pen you guys could use some erasable markers you guys could use some chalk whatever you guys know that will come off easily you guys can wipe off, wipe off or when they wash it for the first time it will come off as well now i'm just making sure that i do all the zigzags and all the 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 creases and everything that it's came with because i wanted it to be like directly on the puppy on this pretty little girl she was actually 18 guys and for dog years we know that that is a amazing age um she lived her year so shout out to princess and here we are just going to go ahead and put that to the side and do the one where it's simply the outline now this one is a lot easier because you're really just doing a big outline rather than tracing the whole silhouette and this way actually worked out perfectly the other one not so much so as you guys are learning just go ahead and take your time and try different things out and uh, let me know if you guys want to tag us you can tag us tully.vision or shantia tullis on facebook until we get a facebook group for you guys to join us at now that we went ahead and outlined both of those little puppies, um, we're just going to go ahead and cut it out, cut all that excess fabric out. And I'm also going to go around this after I cut out all of our fabric and do little pleats. Um, not pleats, but I guess little snips to make sure that our curved edges actually allow us to curb. So here I am just making sure that when I do want to turn it inside out, that no fabric is stuck together or too long to actually flip. Now this is me actually trying to turn it right side out and I may take it out of the camera screen for a bit but I was having a hard time getting those little legs to turn the proper way. So at this point, I realized that it may or may not work. But guys, like I still was going, going at it to get those tiny little legs to turn inside out, which this method did not work because of that. But um, it, it did turn out great. Um, if I were to add fluff to it, I think it would have just took me a bit more time. But I realized that I did prefer the other way better. So we just went ahead and completed her that way. 
I did sew my hole a little bit too close. So I'm gonna go ahead and release that hole a little bit and turn it inside out fully. This is me going ahead and using some charcoal fluff to fluff up this little fluff baby. And as you guys can see, you're starting to see that it's actually a 3D pillow. You guys can see all of her cuts and curves and it just looks so adorable. Now, the pillow guy does a great job with printing out his images where they actually look real. And I've actually seen some people screen print it as well. So once you guys get that down pack, like this is literally like a business in your pocket. And I love bringing you guys ideas that you guys could use to make money for yourselves, for your family, that you guys can give as gifts. This is actually going to be a gift for her just as a person of faith that knows that whether it is a fluff baby or a real baby like we all grieve and we all just just want to to have closure in these moments so I just wanted to to bless her with that and speaking of closure we're just going to go ahead and close up that hole that we had to add our fluff now um if you guys had like a tag or a logo you guys could have gone ahead and put it in this part or you guys also could have added it on the other side um where we sold it um, inside out. It's really up to you guys to brand your things the way that you want to. But I'm not at that point where I'm actually branding my items. I just make them. So this is what it looks like after I hand sewed it close. And that is our fur baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. Try this out. Use your head. Use your pup. Use your kids. Use whatever. Thank you guys for watching television. Love somebody and let them love you. Do not forget to like, comment, and share this video, subscribe, and click that bell. See you guys next time.